cohort analysis is a powerful technique that can help businesses gain valuable insights into behavior and characteristics of their customers. In this video, we explore how Looker Studio can be used to perform cohort analysis and gain valuable insights into your business. Cohort analysis, it is statistical analysis technique that focused on understanding the behavior and characteristics of the group of individuals that share common characteristics or experience during a specific period and this period is called cohort that's why it's called a cohort analysis let me show you how to create a cohort analysis in looker studio so the data source that i have is uh, e-commerce transaction data so fields i have is transaction id customer id order date and revenue I'm calculating a first sale using the Minif's formula and I'm choosing the whole uh, range of uh, order date and uh, the whole range of customer's ID and uh, criteria I choose customer ID it, and this formula helps me calculate the first sale date for a particular customer ID. Then we have two dates column order date and first sale date and first sale date will be our cohort uh, date we will calculate cohorts based on first sale date so let's jump back into data studio to connect the google sheet you need to click at uh, data and choose google sheet and find your data source then i go to add a chart and choose a pivot table and uh, now what i could do is update these fields and choose first sale as row dimension and uh, order date as column dimension let me adjust this chart a little bit what's cool that uh, data studio do quite easily is changing the date granularity and i want to show uh, date not order date but uh, day year months and also i do the same date granularity for column dimensions date uh, year months as metric i can use uh, record counts or i can choose a revenue let's try revenue instead of record count change the date dimension not number but currency us dollar let me sort our chart by not revenue but order date to sending uh, now it looks better uh, we can uh, adjust our sorting to show grand total by rows and by columns and can adjust the rows for sorting and this way it looks better yeah so how to read this table if we check uh, october 2020 data uh, we will see that, that our customers bought for almost 114k the same cohort that we acquired in 2020 in october 2020 generated uh, 70k in november and also 70k in december for uh, november 2020 cohort you can see that it is generated in november 44k and uh, in december 2020 uh, it generated 27k also data studio we can change the date granularity and explore this data not by months but uh, by weeks and uh, in order to do it we will need to change the date granularity and choose i saw a week and uh, i need to update column dimensions as well and what else i can do uh, is to use we got a lot of numbers right now and i can change pivot table to show pivot table with heat maps and it will better display power data and let me just jump back into google spreadsheet and uh, i will show you real quickly how to do the same analysis in google sheets we're using uh, using pivot tables i choose the, all my dates and uh, click insert and choose pivot table new sheet here i choose first sale and uh, columns will be 
order date. Here we can use transaction ID as a value. I choose counter. And here if I right click, I can use create pivot group and it can be year months and right click on the columns also create pivot date group year months. How many transactions each month generated our users. I hope this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Looker Studio and if you need help with Looker Studio you can check the links in the description below.